Ask Reddit. Identical twins of Reddit. Who owns a pet after living separately? What was your pet's reaction when it saw two owners? My mom is an identical twin. My childhood cat Linus was a total scaredy cat, abused at an early age and terrified of new people, but an absolute sweetheart with us. When my aunt came to visit for the first time, Linus walked right up to her and snuggled against her leg. She started scratching him and all was going great until he saw my mom. Cue very quick back and forth head turns, followed by running up the stairs and hiding for hours. Poor baby. Damn, I figured cats identified people more by their scent. Although I guess there's a good possibility that identical twins pretty much smell alike too. Rusty was a good boy and was ecstatic there were two of us. More to play with, I guess. He learned to tell us apart though, and I kind of felt like an indulgent uncle with him. It's even more fun as my brother and I have had children in our own families, and they can't tell us apart until they're almost two. My nephew didn't meet me until he was three. I had been living in another country. When he first saw me, he looked totally confused and eventually asked, are you like another daddy? I'm not a twin, but we look enough alike to understand his confusion. My dad and his brother were identical and same voice too. My dad had rescued a nest of bird babies whose mama never came back and he would feed them. He would go outside and say, where are my babies? And their little heads would pop up, chirping and chattering, and he would feed them. Had a vet friend who told him how and what to feed them. One day his brother came over and my dad told him to go out and say, where are my babies? And the bird stayed silent, not a peep. He tried again to no avail. My dad said it and instantly the babies popped up and chirping. They couldn't see him and his voice was identical, yet they just knew. It was uncanny. I know that with most birds, the mother would whistle a quiet tune to the eggs quite frequently, resulting in the chicks being able to identify their mother's call and vice versa, no matter how similar other birds' call is. It's the same with bats, which is incredibly useful to them since all the babies are always together in a colony. Identical twin here. It's weird because my dog loves me, but hates my sister. Like, when she comes around, he growls at her and barely lets her touch him. I have no idea why. He isn't like this to the rest of my family or friends. Maybe he thinks she's an imposter. LMAO, we have no idea. I would almost guarantee it's because she's almost identical to you, but not quite the same. It's probably really confusing for the poor little guy. Have you ever heard of the Uncanny Valley? It's probably something like that. My dad and my uncle were identical twins. Their voices sound so similar, even my mom would get confused before the invention of caller ID. My dad passed away last year, and when my uncle came over, the family beagle didn't notice, but when my uncle spoke, he perked up. But then he would go and sniff him and get sad again. Something I've never considered. How does your mom handle seeing your uncle? I imagine seeing your dead significant other in their twin could be hard to handle. Not to step on your loss, please ignore if need be. My sister's dog was confused for a second because we sound alike, but then he realized I wasn't her but similar, so he also adores me. Sometimes when I'm visiting and he gets in trouble with her, he comes to me and climbs in my lap. He only weighs 100 pounds. My sister and I aren't twins, but we look very similar and sound nearly identical. Before I moved halfway across the country and developed an accent, we did sound identical. She has six dogs, and all of them took an immediate liking to me the first time they heard me speak. I sound like mom, so I must be good people. We live together, but my cat doesn't particularly like him. I can manhandle that fluffy little thing and rub his stomach all I want. As for my twin, well, he bites him if my brother touches him wrong. To be honest, I'll bite your brother too if he touches me wrong. I'm an identical twin. My dogs had no issues distinguishing between me and my sister. They could tell by smell. Dogs can also distinguish by the way you pet them, the way you walk, your voice. These facts also play a role. My partner is an identical twin. Our dog hates his twin and won't let him in the house, and our cat loves him. The cat loves him out of spite. We never had pets growing up, so my twin was pretty nervous. My wife's nine pound Pomeranian could smell his fear and preyed on it. I'm trying hard to imagine a nine pound Pomeranian prey on anything, but I'm not having much success. My twin and I have lived separately and together several times. My dog treated my sister and me like two separate members of the same family, but both our cats, 
one is mine, one is hers, have made it clear from the beginning that the other twin is a second-class citizen. We have exactly the same voice, so when we visit each other, there's about one minute of, why are there two of you? And then it's business as usual. My dog used to do a weird thing. If he was on my uncle's lap and my dad walks in, he'll switch to my dad's lap and vice versa. So the idea of second-class citizen from dog's perspective keeps changing time to time, lol. The first oddly specific Ask Reddit I am qualified to answer. My dog lost his mind when my twin came to visit. He excitedly dashed back and forth between the two of us, thrilled to see us both. Then again, he's a golden retriever, so he does that with everyone. Goldens are the best. But yeah, they'll also greet just about anyone like their BFFs. Long time ago, my grandfather had a dog that went with him to work the fields on his farm. He passed away and dog stayed with my father and his mother. G father's brother came up the driveway one day to visit, walking and looking like my G pa. The dog went crazy in the house. She was barking and going from window to window. They finally let her out as he was walking up the steps to the porch. She ran up to him all excited until she saw it wasn't her master. It was like someone had kicked her. The tail went under and slowly walked over to her bed and laid down in her sadness. Oh my goodness, I felt so terrible for the dog. I have an identical twin. My sister decided to try and surprise me by coming to visit from out of the state. She had a key, and my dog growled and barked at her and wouldn't let her in while I was in the shower, lol. He didn't care if she looked and sounded like me. She wasn't coming in unless I let her. They rely on sense of smell like we rely on vision, but more so. My dad's brother looks almost exactly like him. So similar that even the cousins get them confused sometimes when we're all together. My uncle came to visit once and came in the house while my dad was still outside helping with the bag. My golden doodle went bounding up to him, and my dad is her favorite person, and barked a greeting. My uncle replied, oh, and who is this? They have totally different voices, octaves apart. My dog panicked, froze, hair went up, crouched way down, and she turned to look at me like, something is wrong with dad. Then my dad walked in. My dog realized that dad was still here and realized that this is a fun new person just like him. She happily went to investigate and say hi. My doodle now loves my uncle, but that first moment really freaked her out. My grandfather had a younger brother whose voice sounded indistinguishable from his own. To all of us humans anyway. They were not twin-like in appearance, nor scent, one assumes. One day our big studly master of his domain German Shepherd catches Uncle Reggie on the front porch and starts going at him and Uncle Reggie says, Oh Scout, now stop that. And Scout did the full cartoon stop, head sideways, and that whimper that sounds like a question mark. So his appearance wasn't mistaken by the dog at all, but he did confuse the hell out of him with the identical voice. My rabbit will go to my twin sister if she calls him from the other room. We have the same voice. But once he arrives and sees it's her and not me, he stops short because he was expecting mom pets. He eventually let her pet him. It's the betrayal when she imitates my voice, intonation and all, that makes him a little huffy at first. I love that little huffy that animals do when they're all fed up with your things. Me too, and I think rabbit huffiness can take the cake most times. Behaviorists have actually observed, and with my little dude I can confirm, that when rabbits are angry enough at you to hold a grudge, they'll sit with their fluffy butts facing you and every so often turn their head to make sure you're aware they're facing their backs to you. It's adorable and works every time to make me snuggle that fur face until he's not mad at me anymore. My cat could give a d Her new puppy thought I was her until she walked in the room and then decided to bark and growl at me. He has only met me a few times and still gets us confused. On a separate note, after college, my twin's older dog lived with my parents at the same time I did. I can't remember why my parents had him for that period of time. He goes absolutely crazy when I visit, and it's the best welcome back ever. I think my dog is too dumb to realize we are twins and just comes to whoever calls her name because she thinks there is food involved. Call my name and give me food, and I'll come every damn time you call my name too. My mother's cat finds all opening fridge people identical. When I first saw my twin's pet, I was shocked. We hadn't talked to each other in about three years, and we both got a black toy caboodle. It was literally like he had mirrored my dog. 
Still don't know whether he did it on purpose. My sister and I live a thousand miles apart from each other and each adopted all black cats in the same week without talking to each other. Crazy stuff. Ha <laughs> ha. I'd love an Ask Reddit about these kind of stories. They are my favorite. My mom's friend has an identical twin on the other side of the country and one time her sister picked her up at the airport and they had on the exact same coat. Not really the same situation, but I think it's really all about smell and possibly mannerisms. My twin sister and I have a pet cat together and despite being blind, he favors my company. He doesn't know we look the same, he just knows what I smell like and how I act. So in a scenario in which he could see and only knew one of us, I think he would still run away if he had ever met the other twin, despite liking a similar person already. This is the best answer. It shows that they sense the essence of the person, not just how they look. Not a twin. The first dog my husband and I had was very much my husband's dog. Worship the ground he walked on. One day while my husband was going on a walk with him, the dog saw someone that looked just like me from the back. Even my husband was confused. The dog ran up to her happy as can be and then she turned around. He growled at her. He barked at her while walking backwards. He was usually a very mellow dog. When they returned to our apartment, the dog sniffed me for a moment and proceeded to snuggle me for the rest of the night. Guess he couldn't handle the betrayal. My Yorkie had no idea I had a twin until my wife surprised me by purchasing a ticket for him to visit for our birthday. He walked in surprising me and she lost her mind and ran up to him excited, thinking it was me. The kitchen was adjacent to the front door and I was standing in it. As she got to the door, she stopped and noticed us both and got even more excited running back and forth between the two of us. One of the cutest things I have ever seen. My dog couldn't tell Asians apart, I guess, and followed the wrong Asian lady at the dog park. My dog got scared by an Indian friend of mine because he picked her up too fast, so she barked out of terror. Whenever she sees an Indian friend I have, she immediately growls, so they say she's racist and they mess with me by saying she's like her owner, it seems. My sister and I are identical twins. Literally, the only way to tell them apart is which side their hair parts on and their glasses. Our family cat absolutely adores the younger twin and despises the other. And I'm absolutely certain that they have exploited that more than once. <laughs>